Even after decluttering about 85% of our family's stuff, every single month i still love to go through and just be a clutter gatekeeper in my home look for things that we haven't used or maybe that i've put on pause to think about for a while and just see what i can get rid of i came up with quite a bit i'm always amazed and that's the thing you will come up with more than you think. You might think there's nothing. I've gotten rid of all of it. Go through and just put those glasses on and look for clutter. You will find some. So this sweatshirt, oh my gosh, totally it makes me pale, which is too bad because it's super cozy. But I'm kind of at this point, if it's not pretty much perfect, I don't keep it. It doesn't have to be in perfect condition, but it has to serve the function perfectly. So this does not serve me. Look at that, <laughs> I'm so washed out. So I am actually going to donate that. I was kind of disappointed to see that one of the dogs, man, do your dogs do this? My dogs are pretty good, but they have chewed a few things recently that have been a bummer. So this is a pillowcase cover. So in this case, I can unzip this. <gasps> no, I can't. There is no zipper on here. All right, I think, should I cut this open and save the fluff inside? <laughs> because it's just the cover that is ripped. Oh, having pets makes decluttering <laughs> easier because they're constantly after stuff all right so my son had a birthday and he got this large helicopter guys my son is um 10 and he's just not really into toys at all so i am going to of course ask his permission but he has never played with this once and his birthday was several weeks ago two months ago actually and I feel like we can get rid of it. It's bulky, it's Christmas. So it makes me feel very motivated to declutter this and give it to another child. So maybe that's kind of the plug I'll put in for him. But if he wants to keep it, of course he can, and we can visit it later, but I, I think he'll be okay with me getting rid of it. I am shocked that I'm actually gonna be decluttering these stems. I especially have loved these, but I went in a different direction and instead of holding on to these and saying, maybe I'll redecorate with them later, I'm gonna say, no, <laughs> I don't keep things for maybe. I like to get rid of things that aren't serving me today. If it's a possibility that I could need something like this again, I can always look on Facebook Marketplace or go back to Hobby Lobby on a 40% sale and get these for very inexpensive. So why hang on to them when someone else could be absolutely loving them? So I also had some items up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Speaking of, after I did my loft makeover video, I did this for around $100 by selling some of our stuff on Marketplace. These did not sell and they've been up there for weeks. I'm just gonna take them to the Goodwill. I love this for so long, but I'm finding that wording is feeling a little cluttered to me. So I'm trying to get rid of all the wording in my home and just stick with basics. How cute is this? I bought this for $12.99. I remember seeing it, absolutely loving it. And I think I actually waited to buy it to think about it some more. I went back for it later and bought it and I used it for like two days. Did not love it in my space. I suppose I could have returned it. I don't know what stopped me from doing that. I think this is so pretty, but it really just didn't make me happy. When I put it in my space, it kind of bothered me and I didn't love the way it looked. Should I try and sell this? Should I just donate it? I love using holidays as an excuse to declutter. So anything that I didn't put out that year or that season, I get rid of. So I did not put this out again with the wording. I'm just not into it. Isn't this so pretty? I think it's lovely. A lot of the stuff that I get rid of these days, I like. I actually think, oh my gosh, it's cute. Not everything, but a lot of it I'll be like, that's really pretty. I, I love that. But I have to be really honest with myself and just say, I'm not using it. It's not serving me and it can serve someone else. And when you kind of go that extra step and say, someone else is really gonna love this, it makes it easier to let go of it because you feel like you're helping somebody and it just, 
it puts a smile on your face and it makes it easier to let go. So I loved this when I saw it. Look at, I never used it. I've had this for like two years. It's a little thankful sign. I thought this is all I'll put up for Thanksgiving. I never wanted to put this out. I never had the desire. I think it's beautiful. Isn't it so super cute? And that's not the point. It's not the fact that it's cute that's making me want to keep it. It's the fact that I didn't use it. It's not functioning for me. So I'm going to send that to the Goodwill also. Some more super cute uh, fall decor. I've set this out in years past and I feel like that is one thing that can really hang us up is thinking, I've used it before. I'm going to use it again. And that's kind of the logic. And it does seem reasonable <laughs> to say, if I've used it before, I'll use it again. But guys, our face of life is ever evolving and our tolerance for clutter, our threshold for clutter, and our styles just evolve and that's okay. I'm totally fine with embracing it. So I'm not replacing these. I'm not gonna go out and buy anything else. I'm simply going to declutter these because I didn't set them out. So that's my clue. Another piece of decor from that loft makeover that I did that honestly has been bugging me for years. I don't like, this is getting so picky. This rustic farmhouse is not really my style, but I didn't have anything to replace it with and I didn't want to be wasteful until I did that whole room makeover and had an idea of what I was doing. Now I can let it go, but it was that cute little pop of green in the meantime. So it served its purpose. Marie Kondo would say, thank the items and say goodbye. Another item that's been on Facebook Marketplace for weeks and has not sold. So I'm just going to pass it on to the Goodwill. I loved this when I bought it, but up against my white walls, it was washed out. And then the wording, again, I've just really had fun getting away from that. So often I get asked by you, what do I do about my family? How do I help my kids, my spouse especially, declutter? It's so difficult. Now this doesn't work with your spouse. That's gonna be another video <laughs> later, but this does work really well for my kids. They're getting older and I really want them to feel that they're in charge of their stuff. I don't want them to grow up and feel like mom always gave their stuff away. That's a fine balance and I'm always trying to kind of meet them in the middle. But one thing that I like to do is go in there and notice what have they not looked at? What have I seen on the floor for two months and it hasn't moved? Or I haven't noticed them playing with it. And I will put this in a bag. I will not declutter it. I absolutely will just stick this in the basement and I will just let it sit there for some time. After several weeks or a couple of months, I will bring these items back out and just say, I noticed that you haven't played with these in a while. I actually packed them up and um, you didn't ask me about them. Is this something that you're okay with me decluttering? 95% of the time, the answer is yes. Once they realize this stuff has already been out of their life and yeah, come to think of it, I didn't miss it at all. It makes it a lot easier for them to let it go. This is a game that I, I did a really big project <laughs> recently where I took all of our games out of the box and I put them into these streamlined, I love it when things match, um, these baggies. I've loved this system. It makes it really nice to see what the game is. Now that I've kind of lived with that organization system for a while, I'm realizing without the box, can I actually donate it at all? I have no idea. I'm really stumped on this one. I'm not necessarily thinking I shouldn't have done the organization project because I need that closet where the games go to function for me. That is period, the end. So I'm not regretting my project. I just don't know how that changes things when it comes to donating. Would you mind helping me out in the comments? I encourage my kids to read. It's something that we love to do in our house, but I also encourage them once they're done with a book or a set, pass it on. This is an area that really can get out of control quickly. The books for yourself, for your kids. I love just passing books on. I don't think many of us go back and reread books over again as much as we may have loved them and thought, I will definitely read this again. I've had a couple books like that. And the honest truth is, I don't. I don't go back and read them. Again, the only thing that I've ever done that with 
is the Little House on the Prairie series. I have read that twice, once as a child and once as an adult. But out of all the books I've read, that's it. Just Little House on the Prairie have I ever read again. So I feel like, oh, it's pretty safe to declutter the books you're done reading. One of the fears I know we all have because I have it too with decluttering is, what if I regret it? What if I declutter it and I want it back? I will tell you that rarely happens, but it does happen sometimes. Here's an example. I told my husband for Christmas, I really want a candle snuffer. It's one of those little old fashioned, it looks like a bell with a long stick and you blow out the candle with the snuffer. It's adorable, it's very vintage, and I just love that. I went back and looked at some old footage from several years ago, and I saw a candle snuffer. Guys, I 100% decluttered this. I know I don't have it anymore. I forgot that I ever had it. I don't ever remember it in my life at all. And this is the thing about having a cluttered home. You don't even know what you have. <laughs> you forget the items that are in your house and you're actually burying things accidentally that you really do want and really do want to use, but they can't really come to the forefront of your life because they're behind so much clutter. So it's fine that I decluttered it. The candle snuffer is like $13, but I'm realizing now that my home is more clutter free, I know what I have and I'm able to use and enjoy and appreciate each item because I know what's in my home. And that is just such the cool thing, one of the cool things about decluttering. So will you ever miss anything you declutter? Maybe, but the truth is when you have too much stuff, you can't even really enjoy or appreciate the things that you like or would like to use because it's all just too much. So go ahead and let it go if you're on the fence, especially if it's something that doesn't cost too much. Please subscribe for videos like this every single week and I will see you soon. Bye.